So we were to employee-related liabilities of a company. Um, we have to account for the payroll deductions and compensated absences. And we have to know about bonuses, but we don't really do a whole lot of accounting for them in this edition of the text. Um, so if we have the following weekly payroll information for this company, uh, you can see they've got 25000 in gross payroll. You have FICA and Medicare that is going to have to come out of that at a rate of 0 0.0765. Um, you have the federal unemployment tax that comes out. Um, and then there would be state unemployment, federal income tax, and state income tax, and then we have an employee union dues deduction. You could also have health care, uh, daycare, um, insurance, you know, various other deductions can come out. I just left it, kept it simple with one. Okay, so what does the journal and what do the journal entries look like for this information related to this payroll? There's going to be two journal entries uh, involved here. One is the paycheck that goes to the employees, okay, to the pay to the employees, and then the other is a separate payroll tax uh, journal entry that applies only to the employer. So let's start with the employee part of this. Um, so you've got the salary expense will be the full amount of the, amount of the gross payroll, $25,000. Uh, out of that, you have to take the 0 0.0765 for FICA and Medicare payable. Um, you have to take out the federal withholding that goes to pay your own uh, federal taxes, the state withholding that goes to pay your um, state taxes, take out your union dues, and then this is the cash that gets to go home with the employees. Okay. Now, in addition to that, uh, the employer is also responsible for paying half of the FICA. The total FICA is like 15%. Uh, so the employer pays half and the employee pays half. So here's the part that comes out of the employee, here's the part that comes out of the employer. In addition, the employer has to pay the, the unemployment taxes. So uh, you would have your, here's the FICA portion, here's the federal unemployment and the state unemployment. And that is, um, would be the payroll tax expense. So for any, um, you know, payroll, um, you know, weekly payroll or monthly payroll, uh, you would have two journal entries, one the salary expense uh, re regarding the check that goes to the employees, and then the payroll tax expense, which is in addition to that, that the employer has to take care of. Okay, a few complications on all of this. Um, FICA is also known as OASDI, but I don't think anyone calls it that, Old Age Survivor and Disability Insurance. That's paid by both the employer and the employee, and these are the, um, in your homework, you're gonna run into limits on it. I made this problem simple and said, nobody's up to the limit. However, um, on an individual employee, once they earn $118,500, uh, they no longer pay into Social Security, okay? Um, Medicare has no limit, uh, so, when you're computing it, you have to set up separate categories for the FICA, which has the limit, because once an employee gets over that amount, that's, they don't have to pay it anymore, and Medicare, it just keeps going. Um, the unemployment taxes paid by the employer only, and this, these rules change, so you have to make sure that they're updated, at the, you know, that you're working with the current ones. Um, they have to pay few to basically if anybody's done any work for them at all. Um, and the tax rate is 6.2%, but the limit, it's only on the first 7,000 earned. So you have to keep track of when each employee gets up to 7,000, because after that, the employer does not have to pay the unemployment tax anymore uh, in a calendar year. Also, you get a, the employer gets a credit of 6.5% if they've paid the state unemployment taxes, which is usually the case, which is why the FUTA rate usually just ends up at 0 .008. All right, so let's look, um, let's see, I've got a little bit more to, all right, so I guess, um, th yeah, the good news on this is that in the real world, you probably won't have to keep track of all this because most companies are gonna have a payroll service. Um, the bad news is that you have to figure out some pretty awful problems for the homework just to get through this course. 
and then you'll understand how it works. Um, but if you were running a small business that didn't have a payroll service, you would have to keep track of everybody's, each employee's earnings per quarter to uh, make sure when they hit the cutoff of the 118,000 for FICA, it's got one too many zeros, um, the first 7,000, and each state has its own limits for the unemployment taxes. Okay, so this just shows you how um, the FICA was calculated on, uh, on this problem. Um, the Medicare portion is the 0 .0145 and the 0 .062 for the um, FICA part. Okay. Um, all right. So the first journal entry, that was the employee part of the weekly payroll. The second was the employer. Um, and I, I guess I went over that half was played by each. Yeah. So I think that's um, some of the homework is going to be pretty awful on this. Let me know if you have questions.